sure there were a lot of church people, but they didn't meet this criteria. You understand? Now, he, I said, wait a minute here. I, I, I can take the for granted if I want to. I said, wait a minute, let me check myself. I said, in all honesty, and realistically, or now, I, I'm going to be personal right? Could, could God recommend me uh, when so much was at stake? Don't you know, dear one, let me tell you something. Don't you know when you claim to be saved and part of the church of God, uh, you can uh, destroy in a great measure the credibility of the church of God and then no more than anybody else? Do you know what uh, a, a grave situation that we're dealing with here? You are the best representative that God has. And when God, when a crisis comes, he, he was, wait a minute, in the nation of God, check them out. And they'll represent me. <laughs> here we go, say, here we go. Now listen, uh, this, all this teaching and preaching and testifying, they want, wait a minute, but God wants a representative. That's right. See, we can satisfy ourselves with that. <coughs> but now, but when the crisis comes, it's something different. And, and you can't run away from it. Unless you're just going to resign yourself to eternal damnation. But you, you're there. And you, when you commit yourself to God, you say, well, Lord, here, here am I. Here am I. Whatever you have, you want to use. And I promise you, I'll never bring a reproach to your cause. Amen. You pray, says God, in this situation here. I remember my own experience. How that uh, I had to make some uh, some decisions, and how I was brought to that point, <laughs> because I could not sense the depth of it. You know, I knew what it means to come. We, we talk consecration and two words of grace and all that. But I said, wait a minute here. Now, uh, what is the ultimate? According to this, uh, you need the ultimate uh, to survive it and to be a real representative. Wait a minute, look, to properly represent God, Lord, I should be willing to abandon whatever at the snap of my finger. Amen. Lord, I would, I'm representing the, the highest order that's known what? The kingdom of God. I'm a representative here. And what they see of me is how they view or how they evaluate the kingdom Amen. of God. It's what they see of me. Amen. <laughs> Don't you know when people see you cutting the corners here and stepping on uh, the line here? Don't you know? That's how they evaluate the church of God. The, 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 the church of God. Oh, no, no, they must be dealing with somebody else because the church of God people don't do that. And they'll judge the church of God by what they see some straggler do from time to time. And now, uh, read that verse again. Verse number eight, I believe it is. Verse number three? Yeah, the, uh, two and verse number eight, I believe it is. Go three, yeah, three, three. And the Lord said unto Satan, okay. Has thou considered my servant Job? All right. That there is none like him in the earth? Wait a minute. The Lord, aren't you, you are putting it, you put yourself in a, in a bind here, Lord. Are you saying that that's the best you got? Well, I, wait a minute then. Well, if that's the case, then I'm the chief. I'll bring it back in the body bag. Look, oh, why do you think I'm here now? Because I have a graveyard that's uh, in the room. Now, Lord, this might be discouraging to the world. Is there somebody, is there some group who can uh, uh, collectively say that uh, I'm a representative to the, to the degree that he is? Now, let, let's see if we can kind of dissect this. Read a little more. And the Lord said unto Satan, mm -hmm. Has thou considered my servant Job? Now, uh, why would God even entertain Satan uh, with a conversation? Well, because Satan is challenging him. Yeah. And, 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 and he has gained some ground here, and he gets attention here, because he got something to look forward to. All those people. See a graveyard, the graveyard, that innumerable graveyard? Mm -hmm. That's mine. Mm -hmm. And, well, uh, what, what happened? Did it have an epidemic? No, no. Mm -hmm. All of them died for different reasons. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. See, when you disqualify yourself, you will let me tell you something. Whatever the reason is, you disqualify. When you're reproachful, 
Well, you, whatever you, you reproach them. You understand? It don't matter where this, that, or the other. I was talking to my son, he made reference the other day up in, uh, I think, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, between Harrisburg and, and, uh, and Pittsburgh, I believe. He said that uh, the, all those people in that graveyard, all of those gravestones, maybe like 10 miles of graveyard, I've never seen nothing like it. And the little people died for different reasons. Some had a cough, they couldn't stop. Some I could have told nail off to the quick. And some had a little knot and they didn't know where it was and they found out that it was a tumor. <coughs> Everybody had something different. Some again, they had a, a, a minor bleeding problem and they bled out. Mm. You know, let me tell you something. Whatever you do to cross the line, you just a dead. It's not how you did it, whether it's out of land, whether you did an ISIS on them. Oh my, oh my. You follow me? <laughs> you know, this, this is a tremendous answer. God help us out. Nope. You understand? And with the old ISIS, the ISIS, ISIS, oh, the center, the center, what were you doing? Right, Whatever you know, you don't have to be cutting people's head off. Yeah. Well, you bring the report to Christ, you'll crucify him afresh. Amen. You'll crucify him afresh. Big God help us out of here, Holy Ghost. <laughs> and when you got light, <laughs> and when you, it's available, then you can get an experience that you don't have to do that, you're in a mess. So God sent you to Mount Zion, the best he has. So you come to Mount Zion. Oh, come on, come on. Well, a, a, a new will come their angels. People got perfect faith. As an example, but this is the way it should be. You understand? The women are, and now, you got this kind of example, and uh, this kind of atmosphere, and this kind of gospel, and this kind of inspiration, and you cannot be a representative of God on all of that? I want to tell you the truth. And when I pondered this, I said, Lord, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, for all that you've done for me and how you worked on me, how you uh, tutored me one on one for I don't know how long to bring me to this point. And uh, I'm not able to represent you in a crisis when the devil comes and says, Well, I challenge you open it. I do a good life on you. The best man win. And he did that arrogantly and boldly. And, and guess what? And he could hardly find anybody to challenge him. And the Lord said, wait a minute. I have a unique individual with a Job. What are the characteristics of Job? What about Job was it? Don't get that himself holy ghost here. What was it about him? that would uh, prompt God to, uh, to uh, invest so much in his integrity. What was it about that man that God said, and if this man fell, the kingdom of God would be a, a reproach. Because the devil said, okay then, I got your boy and I brought him back in the body bag. That, that's your big man, that's your, that's, your, that's your choir member. That's your usher. That's your preacher. And here he, he is. Amen. That, that's the one who preached that mighty gospel. That's the one who did this, that, and the other. And here he is right now. That's the one who took over the testimony service. <coughs> and prolonged the service unnecessarily. <laughs> no, they, 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 they took part of the preacher's time. Oh, God. Lord, help us. Lord, help us. That, that's the same one. Uh, uh, that's the same one who run the island almost fell. <laughs> On the second round. This is the about it. I said, wait a minute, I'm going to tell you something. I would feel terrible. I would feel awful if indeed God needs somebody to represent him in such a, a critical <coughs> situation like this. And I was not able to do it. As long as I've been around the church of God, and all that I know about the word of God, all the inspiration I've been exposed to. Come on, come on. And God had to triple it. Well, let me see. Come on, brother. Maybe, maybe, maybe him. Oh, this is the second review. I, I got it last time. So me, me and him. I got it three times. <laughs> All right, read on. And the Lord said unto Satan, Said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job? Has thou considered my servant Job? That there is none like him in the earth? Wait a minute here. Lord, are you going to expose? Wait a minute, my God. You and God 
would have you and choose you as a representative for everything they think. Nobody else like it. Wait a minute, you say, that's what you got? Give me meal. If God, if God said that about you, that's the best I got. Wait, wait a minute, well, give me meal. And, and we, we, we sell this thing today. I'm, I'm, I'm the best in my domain, and give me the best you got. Wait a minute, that actually happened. That was the situation. Now, listen, and he put, went on and to uh, uh, mention the characteristics here, show what it's all about, what, and all of the qualities that he really had and possessed. Read. That there is none like him in the earth. None like him in the, in the whole, my Lord, university. There's none like him. There's none like him. He's the best representative, my God. Do you know you're the best Christian that somebody knows? You are the best Christian that somebody knows. Who's the best Christian you know, brother so-and-so? Well, they've seen a lot of uh, professed Christians, but uh, you are the best that somebody knows. That's true, Jesus. And when they are referring to the ideal of the unbreakable, is that one over there, to the so-and-so. I know she's my next neighbor. I've seen her under pressure. I've seen her in, in all kind of back in the corner, and it came out uh, spotless. Come on. I put people on their crumble. I seen them walk out, pay down with God, with, with the roof white as snow. Come on. Here. That there is none like him. There is none like him. In the earth. In the earth. A perfect and an upright man. Wait a minute. We, we got a, a, a vast population in here. But we, how many representatives do you have? We got some denominations with millions of people. But how many representatives do God have? Who can they point out and challenge the devil? Bring the best you have and you walk away from our God, unscathed, unspotted, unsmeared, if you will. Come on, this, this is a tough thing to think. That's where we are today, they want. Who, who can God, what group, what denomination, what in, that can God represent, I mean, you represent him? Well, where does he have to go? Well, he had to go, he go to the best that he got. And I, I really believe that some of you are the best that God got in the world. I believe that all my heart. And I'm convinced that some of you sitting here today are that uh, is the best that God has. And that you almost are uh, singular to be a representative. If God, if the devil was challenging God, he would say you. And God help you if you're not there. If God would invest that much in you, and rely that much on you and depend on you to promulgate this truth. Amen. And to, and to uh, keep it above the water. And God got to walk back with you now. Well, I'll say him. I guess you got it. And you're responsible. You're responsible. Wait a minute. Uh, I've known people, guys in the world in down the years, and they said, listen, says, uh, man, listen, I can get in the morning now. I beg you, let me work with her. And somebody said, oh, no, no, you know, they, just, they call her sister, sister so-and-so, you can't, I'm not saying, but I know you can't, you can't, you can't move her. And she said, boy, how you, she's the best thing that I know. And he come back with a body bag. Here's your girl. My God. What a reproach. What a defeat. How can we overcome that? God help us here. When the devil does that, we got to overcome that. And sometimes it's not an impossible. What? To, uh, in a case like that, oh, you said about that lady. And I got her. Yeah, but now the other ones did. Uh, they all saying, and uh, if she tried, if she, uh, she's just vulnerable. Uh, that one was. <coughs> don't make me no more. All that boasting, all that uh, accolade you putting up on this lady, that lady, that man, that man. Wait a minute. You just don't know. You just don't know. Well, we're gonna get to something in pretty short, man. You, you just don't understand. Sure. <coughs> if you realize. The, uh, the position that you're in. And, and you say, God place you here? You say, God place you there? 
God placed you in this position. God called you to this prison position. Wait a minute. I'm going to tell you something, God. And this idea of playing, you think God called me and God called me to this. And you mess around and blew it. God, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm, but I magnify my office. Well, if you don't think enough of you, I'm going to give your life to protect it. You don't, you don't deserve it. That's right. If you don't think enough of God calling you and giving you some position, I don't mean no, no, no office necessarily, but just uh, a, a good testimony. Just a bit See, you, you deserve it. That's right. You, you don't deserve it. If you're not willing to give everything you do to keep it Amen. upright Amen. and keep it acceptable, Amen. 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 and keep it complimentary, Amen. if you're not willing to give everything you got to resist everything that might, uh, uh, that might spot it, then you don't deserve it. Right. I'm going to tell you, Santa God, this is the print game and all this kind of mess here. If you don't think enough, of the grace of God in the church of God, amen, that God would call you to be a part of it. Oh, God. To give everything you've got to preserve it. Amen. And to keep it commendable. And that God can recommend to the world. Oh. You don't deserve to be a part of it. That's right. See, and, how, and how can you uh, nonchalant about it? When God is trying to work with you. And you, and you come to a point, wait a minute here. Think about Demas now. Uh, he can work with Paul and everything else, sacrifice him. But uh, there still was an element of the world in him. Despite the strong stand he had taken on other things. And the devil knows it. And that's why he came here. Well, because he said, wait a minute, uh, I'm going to find, if they got one, I'm going to find it. You, you blessed him. Well, take the head down from around. You've been blessing now and encouraging him and strengthening him and, and the same, calling him and all this kind of stuff. But now, let him walk by himself. My Lord. Let him walk with what he got down in his own soul. Right. Let him walk with what he got. Walk with his own integrity. Amen. And I show you what it's all about. Amen. In that, in that saying. God help us out here. I said, wait a minute here. I said, now today, I said, Lord, and I begin to thank the Lord now. Oh, who would I uh, venture? Uh, a recommendation here. If I was at Brother Hampton, uh, give me somebody that despite my best punches, they would absorb it and counterpunch and walk out with a field uh, champion with so and so and still champion of the world to the so and so. Who can you recommend? And, and hinge all that you the, the integrity of the church. Uh, who can you who can you point out to be that kind of representative? Who, who can you? Who can you? And I and, and, oh, and I sure thought they were saying, God help us out that woman. That was that by me. And the Holy Ghost, I thought they were staying. I never I, I thought they were looking that direction. My God help us out. They were, they were it's troubling. I, I, I help myself here. I, I actually did. I go now. Listen, if indeed all that Joe went through and how prolonged those tests were along every line, the most uh, critical situation and then the thing that was most intimate, most close to him, I mean, and, and, and almost endless, and he didn't crash, and as I said, the best you can do. Help us, Lord. I go back with it again. And I'm ready. And I haven't given out a gas. And I'm not tired of saying no and coming back at you. I, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm keeping my, my experience in, intact. Amen. So, and I'm going to say that, Pastor, be not weary, well done. I'm not going to get myself get tired. I'm keeping condition here. I'm going to keep my self in condition that I might, that I might uh, defy and deny the suggestion of the enemy. I'm not going to let myself get below that level. I'm going to be diligent in my, in, in my, in my consecration here. And I'm, I don't care what's happening, how exciting the, the thing might be, all this kind of stuff. And I won't be going to the ball game on Friday nights. On church night. Any other night. Come on, come on. Come on. Has thou considered my servant, Joe? Has thou considered my servant?
my servant Job. That there is none like him in the earth. There is none like him in the earth. A perfect and an upright man. A perfect and an upright man. One that fears God. One that fears God. And is true as evil. And he hate evil. And still he holds fast. If you hate evil, you will be too close. You will stay too close to it. You will stay within uh, in the magnetic range. Oh. Come on, you know that uh, that a strong magnetism to evil. You know that. And it, well, I want to get it back. I will get it back that it rain. Well, it can't happen. I will put a uh, I'll just in a predicament where I got to fabricate a twisted truth. That's I'm true. not going to do it. I don't care what I got to gain. No, no. I don't care if I do get a few extra hundred dollars. I'm not going to put myself in, in a position right. where I got to do it. Right. I, I'm not going to do it. Well, you, it just, it's just, it's just a, a slight deviation. I don't care. It's not the whole truth, nothing but the truth. That's right. That's right. Come on, come on. See, some people think that they will just uh, consecrate and perpetrate a uh, falsehood. Wait a minute. Well, anything that is not right is it's, it's wrong. Come on, come on, come on. Is that the truth or is it a lie? Yes. Come on. One that feareth God. Fear God. And is true as evil. And is true as evil. And still he holdeth fast his integrity. Wait a minute, wait a minute. His what? Hold it fast, his integrity. Integrity, I looked up the definition a few moments ago, is incorruptibility. In other words, he got something in him that uh, cannot be corrupted. My God. Amen. I mean, wait a minute. Incorruptible? These words, uh, define these words here. This incorruptibility. He should not corrupt. He's not corruptible. Do what you want to do. Come in any way you want to come. You cannot corrupt him. They got experience with God that is incorruptible. And wait a minute. Read that again. Let's let the word of God. Let's take consider the word here. Come on with it. One that feareth God. Fear God. And is true and evil. And true evil. And still he holdeth fast his integrity. All that you have done, you took his family. You messed up in the mind of his wife. <laughs> And you did everything else that was a sentimental and close to him. And he still got that He's still not bent at all. He's not even dented. He still, he still got integrity. I mean, and guess what? Guess what? Guess what? And his wife knew it. And that's what she was after the devil used her. Oh, this is uh, Let me tell you something. His wife, uh, you don't have to uh, get up to New York soul trying to put in order. Uh, your wife and your husband and nobody else. Why? Oh listen, listen, listen. I noticed way over after it was all over, Joe, uh, he said he got all his children better. And he got his more children, more beautiful right. than the first one. That's right. But I don't remember saying anything about the wife. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to trip out of here. Because they had to have somebody to have the children with. And the wife was not around. She come there and go try to make her. Just go and cut God. Just, just go and deviate. Deb 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 <laughs> you better trust in God. You're free. And, and you still trying to hold your integrity. You do. Wait just a minute here. My integrity is more precious than life. Amen. My Lord. I don't went to the funeral so somebody tell them to talk about it. Amen. And you know what? Let me tell you something. Listen. You need to study that. Now, what happened to your wife? Come up and try to uh, have her cousin to, to uh, deviate. Somebody will try to pull you off of this gospel. Oh, my. Come on. Come what happened to him? What happened to him? I don't find what Miss Joe was around. I guess God gave another Joe, evidently, that a wife, whatever her name was. Maybe Matilda. <laughs> oh, but Matilda is his name. Amen. And then, guess what? And God took care of her. And he, he, had, he had to come against us, see. Now, this is the situation. Now, there are times that you have to be pretty blunt with the devil, because he's disrespectful. Wait a minute. Say, woman, what are you disrespectful? A fool. Ish. Ish might soften a little bit. <laughs> Maybe she left off and left that off. And, and you don't even talk like my wife. That's not what God gave me a wife. God gave me a wife to help me, not to destroy me. Not to pull me down. Not to hold me to compromise. That's not what wife's all about. Amen. Amen. 
And, and this is the situation. And he wouldn't move it, wouldn't mountain, I'd move an inch. I disregard you. You don't look a fool. And, and that's what you had to need to be good like my face. But, but oh, that is why I thought you're here. If it's time you try to pull me away from the Holy Ghost for truth, you're not, you don't mean nothing to me. Lord, amen. You're, you're my enemy. Or you're my argument. Yes, you are too. And I, I, I regard you as such. Come on. <laughs> One that feared God, feared God and is true as evil, uh -huh. and still he holdeth fast to his integrity. Now say the Holy Spirit. You have moved me to destroy this man without a cause. You come against him in every conceivable way, and, he, and yet he's holding fast. Oh, wait just a minute. Give me the, uh, what I want. Maybe the 13th chapter, I believe it is. I'll be one with the 13th chapter. And, uh, well, give me 23 8. 23 8, if you will. You're 23 8. No. Keep the boy. Keep it going. Come with Behold, I go forward. I go forward? But he is not there. He is not there. And backward. Backward? But I cannot perceive him. I cannot perceive him. Come on. On the left hand. Left hand. But he doesn't work. Yes. But I cannot behold him. Uh huh. He hideth himself on the right hand. Yes. That I cannot see him. Come on. But he knoweth the way that I, I take. Lord. Come on. When he hath tried me. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. When he hath tried me. I shall come forth as gold. When God gets through with me, and the devil says everything he's got, and every temptation, whatever, I will, I, I will be undiminished. Okay. Do you know that nothing you can do to diminish the quality of gold? Right. Lord, you, can, you can get the, you can put it in the fire and do it together to come up pure. Come on. And you, a Satan got a, goal, a, a pure gold experience, there's nothing you can do to make him any less than holy. No attitude, no overreaction, no yielding to temptation of any sort at all. Come on, come on. He said, I, when I, say, I, I look for God and I look like I didn't get the help that I wanted. And I tried to get help here there, but I don't care about that. I got to my food that God gave me. All right, I ain't got to relax the cord and try to get another experience all together. I have enough in my soul for keep me under any circumstance and I'm going to apply it. Amen. He knows the way I take. Amen. He knows the way I take. And when he gets through with me, he said, when I'm tried, but Joe, you're going through everything imaginable. You know what you're telling me? He said, when I'm tried, but that wasn't the one. And you might not go through yours yet. I've been through so many things, maybe not the one that God will determine your worth, your, your quality. You might not have gone through the one that God will determine your quality yet. And so that way you better be right with God. That way you better be sold out. Otherwise, God will pull that string here. Amen. That's, that your heart string. That thing that, that, you, that your livelihood is hinging on. That your delight in life, you're your hinging on that. And God may make you. Wait a minute. Well, I've been through everything. No, you haven't. You haven't been through this one. Well, that isn't too much. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, well, let me tell you something. When you go through a temptation, a trial, you should come out of it better than you went in. I don't care how much the devil comes, how long he comes, how hard, or through whom. You should come out better than you were. Oh, God. In a discussion with your husband, you should come out sweeter than you were before. You didn't have to have the last loud word. And other you didn't have to have a spring run from a thought that, that uh, is not for the reason that you're using it. You should come out more considerate than you were, and not even not even your little influence and all this kind of stuff. You should come out better. And you got to take you two weeks or a month to recover the effect of a hard temptation, even though you did not yield altogether, altogether, but you entered into it, and it, and it, it lessened you. Oh yeah, it took a plug out of it. It took a plug out of it. And we, this God, we, and my God, that's why it's so tough on church of God people. What? God explained this thing in detail to you. God laid it out to you. And all you got to do is get before God and obey it. Yes. Yes. And you, you, you stand faultless and blameless before him. Come on. We, we, don't, we deal with every aspect of your life. We, we, we preach a practical gospel. Yes. Well, come on. Here. But he knoweth the way that I take. He knoweth the way I take. 
When he hath tried me, when he tried me, I shall come forth and I shall come forth and go. Go on. My foot hath held his step. My foot what? Hath held his step. Held his step. His way have I kept and come not declined. Come on. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. Listen, listen. I have not deviated one iota from any principle that you have. Lord, make me known to me. Not one. Not the one. As a testimony. I don't care about the length of time. And he said, when I'm tried, I'm going to come for the go. I got that kind of experience. I got that kind of relationship with God. I thank you for God until I got the witness that I have that kind of experience. And I would stop and make sure of that. And, and so, come with me. Come with me. God got one for you. God got an experience like that for me. Amen. What an experience. Yeah, it costs me. It costs everything. Oh, it's cheap. And then it costs, but it's going to cost everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And how in the world could you be excited about any less than that when it's exposed to you? Mm. you it, it's right at your fingertips. And why would you suffer anything less than that? Knowing the detriment of not having it. What do you say? My oh. foot has held my All right. steps. His go, uh, go back to the uh, second chapter. And the Lord said unto Satan, Go on. Has thou considered my servant Job? Has thou considered my servant Job? That there is none like him in the earth, yeah. a perfect and an upright man. All right. One that feareth God and is true of evil, and still he holdeth fast his integrity. Still he holdeth fast his integrity. You've moved me to do everything a man. You pulled his heart string, and still he maintained his integrity. Yes. Now the question arises, why did God commend you? <coughs> All right, I'm going to show you why. We're going to show you why. You might be wondering why would he select Job out of all the people. I will show you why. Okay then, uh, turn to St. John chapter. Two, verse 25. All right. Come on, come on. Come on. And needed not that any should testify of man. Needed that any one should testify of man. For he knew what was in man. What? For he knew what was in Why man. Why did God choose Job? I don't find where he did a lot of exploits before that time when they were held in the high office in the church. Why did you choose him? Because of his integrity. He has nothing in him that God knows that he, that's unbreakable. God, when you get it, God knew that there was something in Job, and I wouldn't be taking a long shot to commend him. Amen. Or to put him out on the block there. I wouldn't be taking a long shot of destroying the congregation of the church. What I say is. You want to tell you something? When you, uh, you're challenged and you want to say, oh, but I got a person that does dare stand. I have an individual that does stand here. You know, well, I shouldn't even do that without filling my boots. Oh, Lord. When how you come out? You know, how'd you come out? How'd you come out? How'd you come out? Lord, have mercy. Listen, God, he knew what was in him. Listen, that's why God chose him. He knew what was in him. Not because he had established such a record of miracles, of doing and all that kind of thing. You find me? God knew it was in him. He knew it was there. And he could see beyond the surface. And that's why, let me tell you, children, and don't get upset if the church don't want to use you. What? Many times we sense you, you display something and that uh, tells us what's in you. That tells us what's in you. Amen. And, and, and you'll be a risk. You'd be a risk. Come on, but you never got the old man or the old spirit out of it. And you might revert back to it when the door's open. And then we will be pushed. God help us out here on the ghost. And now, and uh, children, and some do it repetitively over and over again. God help us out. Might God help us out? Amen. Can God depend on you? Wait a minute. They have something inside them. I see it. All right then, Peter, 
Det är det här med att du ska ta dig till kvinnor. Du ska ta dig till kvinnor. Du ska ta dig till kvinnor. Du ska ta But I pray for thee, I pray for thee that thy faith fail not. That thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, when you are converted, strengthen thy brother. Strengthen thy brother. And he said unto him, Lord, Lord, I am ready to go with thee both to prison and to death. Uh -huh. And he said, I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day before that thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest. Well, with all that strong uh, a flamboyant testimony, how could he think like that? How could he think like that? I mean, what I mean, all that strong testimony, how die going on? Wait a minute. Well, that should be convincing. How, how much more convincing could it be? I, I, go, I go all the way with the Lord without any, any limitations. And I guess he thought his strong testimony uh, would suffice him. But no. See? You don't have it inside, son. You got a good mind. You seem to want it, but you have not paid the price to get it. And you'll see me even working on it. You're satisfied with, with the little bit that you do have. And you're boasting about that. When you should be expressed out on the altar before God. You will you will even see me challenged. I don't know who will make, make you aware of it. Okay, I know what's in your son. That I, I cannot uh, uh, shout out your testimony, Peter. Why? Because I see something here that's going to disqualify you. You follow me? I see something, I see something in you. I didn't even testify good. Not think you mean it, but you don't have the weapons on the back it up. You're promising more than you can perform. But then one this situation. I said, if it's such a rarity to find uh, an eligible or legitimate representation, representative, well then Lord, wait a minute here. <laughs> Why would I think I'm one? Let me check myself here. Let me, let me, let me take an, uh, uh, an inventory on my inward graces. That's good. I mean, I'm not talking about somebody else now, I'm talking about me. Amen. 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 I, who knows? God have a, 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 a lack of individuals who can probably represent him? What do you need? Well, just, just check takes us to us. What God said, wait a minute. It seems that he just rather just let it go on and, and, and take his course than to uh, use somebody who might bring them to the temple at the resource and the devil can walk back. I told you. I told you. It was only serving you because of the blessing, the fish, and the loaves. It only served you because uh, that thought was just a better place to be. And that was feeling better. Not because they had that real experience with God that would qualify them as a real representative. But now, you always got me to call me anyway. But who knows? I guess Job might have thought the same thing. I don't find where he had any, any uh, uh, presupposed and had he they knew all about it, had to make a plan. No, definitely not. But God did. He, well, in fact, you're here, you can do what you usually want to. But he don't want to take the long shot here and bring this thing up to reproach. God help us out. God help us. God help us. God help us. All right, give me another passage here. Come on. Uh, Genesis chapter 18. I think it was verse 17. Oh, Lord, help us. Oh, it's so much here. Genesis 18, 17. Come on. And the Lord said, the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Seeing that Abraham shall truly become a great and mighty nation. Wait a minute. You hear the prognosis here. He's going to become a. Wait a minute. How do you know, Lord? Uh, how can we prognosticate it? What? He said he's going to become a great nation. How do we know that? All right. Let me show you how. 
This is the tribute thing God has come with. And all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Well, wait a minute. You build a statement like that? And, uh, and knowing that uh, he's just an individual? And all that you're talking about is hinging on his success? Come on. Then. For I know him. I know him. And that he will command his children and his household after him. I know he's gonna do it because he's gonna command his children. His children are gonna to to command him. Mm -hmm. My children, I'm going with my children. Well, God have mercy, who's in control? Who's in control? You got to go command his children. I mean, he's gonna do it in the spirit. And God give you the authority to do it and do it right. Amen. And we're not talking about no abuse. You don't have to know, no need to abuse. That's right. God give you that authority. Okay. You, you find even, even Adam to begin with. It can be done right. Yeah, I know he's going to be diligent, but, but the, the diligence here, he's going to command his children, and they're going to uh, perpetuate what we're doing and keep it going. Keep it going. God help us. God help us. Well, I think we ought to keep mine together, at least. Amen. And you give him what was right. Amen. Because I have responsibility, whether we're or not. Amen. Or oh, that's a brave responsibility. Just thank God, well, here we are. And we're, we're, uh, we're right at the door of the judgment. Oh. We're right there. Yeah. And I don't want to say I told you. It'd be too late then. <laughs> you think you know because God has been merciful giving you one chance after another that that's going for each, that's going forever. No, it won't either. That's going to close. And we're right there now. You can take my word for it. Okay, thank you, God. We let Abraham who command his children. And if a person would be that diligent so I could have something to work with, I know that he is an individual that I can depend on. And I can give a whole nation and put him in the hall of fame of faith because of that. The way he's standing. Because of the fact that he's a commander. <clears throat> Not just suggested, but you're commanded. You're commanded. You can, well, I don't mean you can make people do right with that. That's not what he's talking about. But he means that he's going to make uh, in such a commanding way that they cannot ignore it. And they will respect it, at least. Amen. And they will be an influence, they will influence others. They will influence others. They will have a holy influence. God have us upon us. Praise God. Amen. Well then, how does one prepare himself to be how do they do it? How do they do it? How do they do it? All right, all right. Well, this is how. This is how. All right. Here's the situation. Now, uh, by going through your heart tests, and each time you go through and God see you on the other side, He will determine your authority. Okay, then. How do they do it? Abraham, He gave him one of the most the difficult test in the Bible. Sacrifice your son. I'm gonna take you to the very ultimate. And it, it, and that to me is seen to be through the extreme. But God knows where to try you to tell what you're all about. And uh, wait a minute, what about Sarah? What uh, better obey God and obey man. Amen. The Sarah said, said, said no. Yes, and when it comes to a principle, that, that, that don't that don't apply here. Man, if a man going to call me book contrary to my conscience or to the word of God, that's that different. No, 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 that doesn't apply here. But that will be God, will be man. Praise God. All right, all right. All right then. And what about uh, and, uh, Abraham and same with Job and others? God allowed them to be confronted with the most excruciating situation that you can think of. And he went through it. And, and, and when God said, if you go through that, you can't break him. If, if, if those tests and, uh, didn't break him, nothing else will. If that don't break him, nothing else will. I said, sacrifice your son. Sacrifice that, sacrifice that, sacrifice that, sacrifice that. Sacrifice that. Sacrifice that. He sacrificed that that was nearest and dearest to him. That, and, and, and look like God telling that, your only little boy. Wait a minute, Lord, you took me, you planned this, you know, you don't rub it in, Lord. 
I got that one of the son, the son of promise here, and then you will take him. We don't know rubbing in him. My God, and he mourned a little bit. I think the second second thought it. <laughs> and, and, and with, if you went through that, if you went to give up that, Hello. if you were to turn that loose, Hello. then you, nothing else will move you. Amen, nothing else will move you. That's the other. And then I can say that to say that there's none like it. And in, in absolute truth, there's nothing like like those who would go that far. Find another. Find another. You, you, I'm going to tell you the truth. Find another one. Find one to do that. They'll go so far. Oh my, oh my. God, let, me, let, me, let me pull that, that, that one string. Let me pull that one string and see if they go to last the, the, the final mile. They, they abbreviate it, but let me see how far they'll go with it. Abraham, listen, listen. You know, Abraham had uh, done exploits in the faith before that time. But he, God told him to go. Go where? Just go. I'll tell you where. If you, you follow me, you follow me. And so, and uh, well now, a man who would do that, just randomly strike out somewhere with no particular destination, don't tell him where, or what route to take, nothing else, just go. And trust me for the rest. And then, uh, that did not suffice or qualify him to be one of, of, of faith. And God said, I know. And then God said, no, there's something else that I can see there. There's a reservation there. He's attached to that son. And of course, and that's right, it should be, but not, but not to that extent. Not to the extent that I'm willing to uh, not do what God said. But if you trust me, do that. And you know what happened? And when, and when he did it, and at the last phase of it, ain't good. You have to do it. Now I know. What you mean, now I know? Why did you know a long time ago? I left home. Left my people. I gave them all that I had back in my, my possessions. And struck out. Why, why didn't you do this, Lord? That was the one. That was nothing more. And some people say, they, they need, uh, I'm, I'm going to know heaven is mine because I gave up this, I gave up that. But that's not the one in the case. That's not the one God concerned about. That they come and come from. But that, that one now that, amen, that will determine your destiny and your credibility. Can I depend on you, Lord? Says the Lord, can I depend on you? My God. Because you heard the message. Lord, help me, my God. Help me, Lord. Can I depend on you? Can I depend you to hold fast to your integrity? Can I depend you to be uncorrupted by a situation here? In a tight spot. In a tight spot. Can I do that? Those kind of people are always extinct. And that's what, that's what people people disqualify and, and, and almost disfellowship people to be this kind of God. My Lord, brother. They, God, they get them behind you. They'll get them behind you. Oh. Yeah, they will. This kind of God. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what it, yeah. That's what it happens. I'm going to tell you. Point like, this kind of God is what it happens. My Lord. It, it ain't no this, that, and the other, and something. That, this is where it is. Yeah. What God is demanding here, yeah. and that's the other extreme. That's the other. But I tell you what, children. Uh, if you go to heaven, this is the price you want to pay. Amen. But now, but what the trouble is, who's striving for the master? My Lord. Who's before God? Yes. I, I got something before God. Yes. What's the button matter to you? Uh, I didn't see. <laughs> I was in the military. I was at the sun before God here. And, uh, and the fellows watching me close. Said, what happened to you? I, I don't see that child anymore. I see what well, the that day, that day, the older. I didn't see it show what happened. You know what I mean? One of the old hands got sanctified and stopped eating. <laughs> but, uh, I ate, you know, finally. <clears throat> but in the situation too. But who now uh, would take a stand? I'm gonna have it if I die. I'm gonna get that grace that God can depend on me if I fall or dead. I don't care what happened in the past. If I have failures in the past, I'll get situated here and I'll, and I'll start from here. Come on, that's experience, brother. Whatever the case yes, might sir. be, I don't care, but yes, it's, it's, sir, brother. It's, it's, it's God, you can depend on me. Yes, you can depend on me. Yes, sir. Because your spirit, your presence will be more against me. There's yes, nothing in my head that can yes, take place of a real relationship with God. The peace, the joy, I don't give you suffering. Yes. There's nothing that, there's, there's nothing that, that can replace that. Oh. Amen. I mean, there, there's no counterfeit. Thank you. I mean, to know that you're in God's will, 
even though you suffered a great uh, temporal loss or whatever the case might be, uh, just when you thought that you were smooth sailing because you had made a wonderful sacrifice, but what about the what about the ultimate? What about the ultimate? And guess what? When you don't do it, then you go float somewhere else. Come on, they say, oh yes, you you back up on God here, then you back up on something else. May God help you and bless you. She always did. Lord help me. Lord help me. Lord help me. That's it. Now, I'm just going to say this. I'd go through this. I'd go through this. I'm still going through it. Praise the Lord. This is no joke. You see, you can't be wrong about this. You cannot be wrong about this. You cannot be wrong about this. You cannot be wrong about this. Give me God knows. God is emptying his quiver to help us out here, to get us to heaven, and to prepare us, amen, to be a representative. You know, all day, you know what? In a time when there's hardly anybody that can represent God in a real way, and certainly uh, he's stretching his thing. God is searching the camp out. So that uh, it's the most embarrassing. But see, see the found himself in the, in the face of God. Oh, who, who is your who is he? Who is she? I, I don't know if she was me. Same thing. I, I, I get there in 24 hours. That's the best you got? Talking to the Lord. No, I have somebody unbreakable. I have somebody with real integrity. I mean, that they'll be standing tall when anybody's falling around. I mean, they, you're not being influenced by the crowd or nobody else. Come on, come on, come on. You know, but see, but you got to have a revelation here. God has shown the women here. Now, otherwise you think that uh, the gain would not repay the loss. What I gain from giving this up would not repay for what I'm losing by not doing it. What a challenge, bro. What a challenge. Oh, maybe we better wake up, God, before we go to a professional sleep. The gain would not repay the loss. That was the devil taking it. Now, what you get, trying to be religious, trying to be saved, and uh, if you give that up, it, it's not worth it. Because that'll bring you, they give you the happiness, they give you the life that you want. God can mess up on us. God can mess up on us. That God has to reach so low to try to find somebody who will represent him in a real way. All right, if you want help, you may come. That's what we hear. This, this is it, this is it, and I keep telling you this. And so we had a meeting planned down here a week or two. This is what they're over here. 